Okay, let's get coding lazy SMP. The first thing we've got to do is sort out a very unexpected issue uh, with actually the way that we're using the bounds in the program when we do the alpha beta search. If I scroll down in defs.h, you remember that we've got this inf bound with 30,000. If I go into search.c, inside the search position function, we call the alpha beta here and we call that with minus inf bound and plus inf bound. Now that is okay, but when we go to store hash entry, if you remember in store hash entry, we make this uh, mate correction to the score here. Now there's a slight issue with this. The is mate is this infinite bound uh, minus the maximum depth. The problem that we're going to have is when we come to store this with lazy SMP, if you remember from the last video, what we need to do with the score is take the score and then add the inf bound onto it because we need to make the score a positive number. However, through this code here, what could actually happen is if we've sent in the lower bound is already minus inf, we'll have a score that's actually lower than minus inf, and therefore if we add inf to it, then it's actually still not going to be a positive number. So we need to fix that. So the way we're going to fix that is to make another bound, and I'll call this AB for alpha beta bound, and then we'll make an inf bound of 32,000 and leave AB bound as 30,000. What I'll do then is uh, drop AB bound into here. And now we need to find all the occurrences of inf bound in the program and replace those with AB bound apart from in this file, obviously. Now this is a little bit dodgy, but hopefully it'll be okay. I've tested it a couple of times in advance and uh, it worked out. So hopefully it'll work out now. So I'm going to look for inf bound and then I'm going to replace with AB bound anywhere I can in the program, but not inside defs. So I'm going to on VS code anyway, dismiss that because I don't want to make this replacement. And then what I'd like to do here then is make all of the replacements in the PV table .c and all of the replacements in search .c. And that should then be everything replaced. So if I look at the call of alpha beta here, you can see we're using the AB bound and also further up, I guess we've got it here. Yep. It looks like it's replaced it everywhere it needed to inside here and also inside PV table as well. I guess everything there has been replaced properly as well. It has, yes. So now that's done, I'd like to jump into PV table and start creating the code that we're going to use to actually merge all of our information together that we're going to save inside the hash table. As a quick reminder from the previous video, what we're going to do is essentially this slide. We're going to write the macro that creates our U64 data, which is here. And then we're going to write four macros, which actually extract our data for us from this uh, U64 data here. So back into PV table then, I'm going to create a load of space and I'm going to actually paste these macros in because you don't want to sit there actually looking at me typing all of these out, I imagine. And the code, of course, is on GitHub as well, if you just want to take it from there. So the first macro we've got is extract the score. So that's uh, take the score and end it with the first 16 bits and subtract this inf bound from it, because when we store it, we're going to add the inf bound to it. Then we've got the extract of the depth. So we shift it by 16 and end with 3f. Then the flags shift by 23 and with three. And finally the move, which we shift by 25 bits and then cast to an integer, because remember the moves inside the program are an integer, they're not a U64. So those are the four macros which are used to extract the data. They are the four macros that we talked about in the previous video on the slide here. So to create the data, we'll define this fold data macro where we take in the score, the depth, the flag, the move, and then we add the inf bound to the score. We shift the depth, we shift the flag, we shift the move, and we also take care to cast the move into a U64 as well, because we're going to go beyond the number of bits there are in a normal integer. Now, before we actually start implementing this in the hash table, what I'd like to do is write some test functions, which we can throw away later, but just to make a small test that this code here is working as we expect. So I'm going to define a new function and just call this data check. And like I said, we're going to throw this away, so don't worry too much about this. We'll send a move into this. It should technically be a const int move. Let me do that then, const int move. And then we'll define three random variables here. So I'm going to say depth is equal to, and we can take rand, and then we need to modulo that with the max depth. And then I'm going to copy this down a couple of times. So we'll do a flag here and the flag can be that modulo with three. And then we want to do score here and the score can be modulo and with our AB bound. What I'd like to do then is actually create our folded data. So I'm going to call this uh, data here. So say U64 is data is equal to fold data. And then we'll send in our score depth flag and move. Now we'll write a couple of printf so we can print this information to the console. So uh, I'll call this check. So we want the move, which is a string. And then we want the depth, which is an integer. And then I'll copy that a couple of times because we've also got the uh, the flag fl put and the score, which is sc. That's also an integer. And then finally, what we actually want also is our data as well, which is percentage llx. And then we'll put a new line on the end there. 
And then we can do uh, print move, move our depth, flag, score, and data. So when we run this function, we will literally print the values to the console that we've managed to create here and also the data that we've created. What I then want to do is actually check that when we use the extraction here from the data that we've folded, that we get the same information back out. So I actually change this to orange and then I'll leave this one as check. So what we want here is the move and everything pretty much as it was before. We don't need the data on the end here because that's no longer necessary. But now we need to use our macros actually for the extraction here. So here we want print move and then we want the extract move and that will then take in our data. And then I'm going to copy that here, here and here. So we want to extract the depth here and then here we want to extract the flag. And finally, we want to extract the score. Lastly, I'm going to put a new line on here so it's all easier and separate to see inside the console. Okay, so we've got a function here that checks for a given move and so random depth, flag and score, whether the information that we fold up is also the same as the information that we extract. Because if that doesn't work, then nothing is going to work inside our hash table. So to actually run this test, there's going to be a really, really simple function. And I'll just call this temp hash test. What we'll take in is we'll take in an FEN. So we'll just say car FEN. So it'll be an FEN position. And then what we're going to do is create ourselves a board. So we'll say S board. And I'm going to be very lazy and just call this B. And what we want to do then is actually pass the FEN string. So we'll do B and the FEN. Or have I got that the right way around? No, it's FEN and then B. And now a little bit of laziness. I'm actually going to jump into perfed here. And we've got this loop here, which goes through all of the moves. And that's what I want to do. I want to loop through all of the moves in the position. So I'll take that code from perfed, generate all of the moves. Instead of pos, it's actually B. Our move num here, list count move num, uh, that's B. What we don't need to do is run perfed here. And what we do need to do though is take the move here and replace that with a B here. And what I want to do after I've taken the move is actually then run our data check. And I want to run our data check then with the move in question. So if we run this temp hash test function with an FEN, what it'll do is loop through all of the legal moves in the position. And for each one of those moves, it'll pass it into data check, get a random depth flag and score, create the data that we'll want to store in the hash table and just check that it's able to get the same information out as came in. And then we know that at least the macros are set up and working correctly, because if they're not, then we're going to have a lot of chaos later on. So now we have that written. What I'd like to do then is test this out. We're going to need to use it inside vice.c. So I'll copy temp hash test, drop into devs.h, and in the PV table section here, just type extern, paste in the function there. We can drop then into vice.c and let's use it here. So in the set buffer area here. So we'll type temp hash test and then we can add in the, uh, the perfed. And then also what we can do is add in WAC1 as well and test both of those. And when that's happened, we'll just exit zero here. Terrible code, obviously, but we're going to remove it later on anyway. So I'll save that. I'll jump into the console and run make. And it seems to be okay. So let's try and run vice uh, 12.exe. Okay then, and we've got a load of information printed out to the screen. So I'm going to scroll back up and just make sure that everything kind of checks out here. So the first position we've got A2, A3, and we can see already, and this is making me feel a little bit relieved that everything here is matching. So we had these originals coming in and we stored them in this data here, and then we've been able to extract exactly the same information as well. And just running down here purely visually, it's pretty brutal. I can see that everything seems to match. We haven't got any crazy scores or anything like that, which is what usually happens when I get things wrong, which I did in preparation everything seems to nicely match up, which is really good. Okay, so I'm fairly relieved and satisfied that the macros are working. Just to go back to this slide, what we've done is we've written this fold data to create this data here, and then we've written the four extract macros to get the information back out here. Because remember, we're going to be storing the information actually as this SMP underscore data inside here. So we need to be able to make sure that we can store the information correctly and also extract the information correctly as well. So with that done, we can now start modifying the hash table itself.